Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the fresh new video on Python tutorials. So, this video is about bouncing ball uh, using Python Total Graphics. So, here is a concept uh, behind the bouncing ball. So, <laughs> I'm very bad at MS Paint drawing. Uh, okay, let me explain uh, uh, this first. Okay, so first consider our ball uh, at a uh, top of the position of the y axis or uh, any position uh, for example here I take a, a hundred position uh, so basically it is a uh, it's coding it is a zero comma hundred and for a bouncing ball um, we have to uh, move this ball to the uh, minus hundred position and then again uh, to the uh, 80 or any position okay so uh, to move uh, downward we have to decrease uh, our uh, y axis here you can see position 2 our x coordinate is same but y coordinate uh, is uh, decreased by uh, some amount of pixel like some amount of distance uh, that is x uh, so our coordinate uh, become uh, x1 comma y1 minus x and here I take example as uh, 80 uh, that means x1 comma 80 so uh, so okay so let, let me explain this code now okay so first uh, we um, create a, a total screen and then we uh, create a pane for a drawing uh, the shape circle and then we choose a color and okay so okay okay let's uh, run this so you can see our uh, circle uh, is uh, uh, at our home position and now we have to move uh, this circle uh, to our top of the uh, y axis so for that pin dot uh, go to and our x axis remain 0 and y axis remain uh, 200 so okay, let's run it so you can see our uh, circle move to uh, 200 pixels uh, in our y axis okay now we have to remove this line and for that uh, we have to give here something like uh, pin dot uh, pin up and okay let's see okay you can see uh, the ball moves uh, 20 pixel uh, uh, upward y axis and now we have to draw that circle very fast so pin dot speed 0 okay okay so and now we have to also change our background so uh, ws dot uh, busy color and i will give you something like black color okay so let's run it okay you can see uh, our background has changed so now we have to decrease uh, this uh, ball coordinate y axis coordinate um, and but uh, our x axis uh, co uh, coordinate uh, remain uh, constant so for that okay let's uh, okay okay let me code first okay so while uh, true okay so okay uh, so uh, now we have to decrease uh, okay so let me explain now we have to decrease this y coordinate okay so, okay, so we have to decrease now this uh, y coordinate uh, this y coordinate uh, and for that okay so uh, let's set our y coordinate so pin dot set y uh, which will set our y coordinate okay so pin dot y core uh, plus okay so okay let me give you something like uh, pin dot dy equals to 0 and we'll add that here pin dot dy okay let's run the code okay it's running no problem okay so okay pin dot we have set our y coordinate uh, okay now if okay so if uh, okay so if our um, ball is here then we have to move it to back okay okay so um, now we have to decrease uh, the uh, y coordinate and uh, okay so for that uh, okay here I have uh, given 
okay now uh, um, uh, uh, okay so okay let me explain so uh, uh, here this uh, line uh, makes our uh, uh, loop always true and while uh, being always true we have to decrease this uh, coordinate y coordinate and for that we have to decrease this okay so for that we have to minus pen dot uh, dy and okay so and we can't do here minus because we have to bounce in upward also okay so here we can do something like pen dot dy equals to pen dot dy minus one okay and it will decrease the pen dot dy by minus one okay uh, uh, okay now let's run the code okay you can see our ball moves down and we can you, know, you can also give here something like if uh, our pen dot uh, y core that means uh, it will give uh, okay let me see, uh, explain here okay this this function give us your current y coordinate okay so if our current y coordinate is something like uh, uh, greater than minus 250 okay then um, uh, okay, pen dot uh, dy equals to pen dot dy into uh, okay, here. pen dot dy into uh, minus one okay, let's check okay, it is uh, dropping very slowly and once it uh, reach okay now it is not working here I okay, guess so, okay let's change something if less than uh, 200 okay okay if less than 200 minus 200 okay now you can see it is bouncing okay so okay let me explain here the once once our ball reach minus 200 here I am showing minus 100 and here I am doing minus 200 okay no, no problem uh, you can uh, suppose any coordinate okay once we reach minus 200 then we slightly increase our y coordinate okay and for that uh, okay so if uh, okay you can see here if our current uh, coordinate is less than minus 200 that means our current coordinate is less than minus 200 then okay then we have to make sure that we, we have decreased our y coordinate by decreasing this pen dot dy okay and now we have to increase okay and for that we have to okay let's our ball is uh, at this position then uh, so, uh, then so position be something like minus 80 and if we multiply minus 80 by minus 1 then our y coordinate be positive 80 okay so now our ball should move upward to position 80 i hope you understand that okay let's uh, uh, run our code again okay you can see this is our simple bouncing ball and also you can change the coordinate um, uh, okay also you can uh, do something like a uh, uh, okay a bouncing ball as uh, this corner and this corner also uh, okay so you can just uh, change your uh, coordinate for uh, set your coordinate as x six and you can make that also okay so yeah this was for today tutorial hope to see you in next one